Okay, camera's rolling. It's time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. My name is Mark Zimmerman and what I'm doing is rolling a thin layer of ink out on a sheet of plexiglass so that I can do an ink transfer drawing. Uh, to do that I'm going to lay a sheet of paper on top of the ink tape it down and then I'm going to draw and rub on the back of it with my with a pen and with my fingers transferring ink to the front which is face down on the ink right now. It's kind of a fun process. You don't have a whole lot of control, but it's a very fast way of drawing. Maybe partly because you don't have control, so why bother uh, sweating the details? Uh, I've got a picture of a little lotus, a little water lily. And I'm going to try to try to um, Draw that. Huh. I'm going to bring it a little closer so I can see it too. Okay. Huh. Crazy little thing. So if I set my hand down, if I rest it on or touch the back of the paper, I transfer ink that way too. So I'm kind of carefully keeping my hand up in the air, which is kind of a uncomfortable way of drawing at first anyway. Uh, I think I've gotten pretty used to it. Just as I say that, I discovered that I'd really want a bridge here, a little, a little piece of Lexan plastic, which um, lets me bridge this. And there we go. Let's see what else we need here. This little bit here, and a little bit here. And then, huh. Mm -hmm. Now I've got a bunch of little stuff in here. I probably should know what flower part these are, but I don't. And I do not want to overdraw them. I want to leave room for color. If I transfer a lot of ink, all of a sudden I don't have room for color.
This is going to be kind of complicated to paint too. I'm going to finish it with watercolor. Or that's the plan anyway. Every now and then I do one of these and I think, you know, I should just leave that black and white. Somehow I don't think the pink lotus is the one to leave black and white. So no matter how complicated it gets, I think I'm likely to Okay, here's our water lotus. lotus. Um, these must be lily pads. Get rid of that bridge. It's kind of in my way mostly. Uh, I don't think I'm transferring much ink with my finger. Maybe just a touch here and there. Uh, let's see where I'm at. Let's see what happened underneath there. Mostly we're going to do this with paint. Yeah. You'll notice something when I flip this over. The transfer drawing is a mirror image of what I've drawn. Let me get the ink out of here. And switch to watercolor paint. And there's the little photograph I was looking at. Um, okay, so... So it's kind of interesting, there's a little bit of a problem. This, this pedal here that points down and to the right is actually this pedal here that points down and to the left. And so, uh, the other thing I'm going to want is a board underneath here, I'm pretty sure. So that I can tip it different directions, let it run the way I want it to run. Alright, so... What we're going to do, actually, I think, is make some pink. Some purpley pink, a little bit of magenta pink. That's ah, too purpley. That might be about right, and I want it light. So I'm going to add a little water to it, too. Just a little eyedropper. Yeah, I can move this in here. You can see the paint that I mixed up. I'm going to test see what color that really is. Yeah, it should work. So the other thing I'm going to need is quite a bit of water. So this little guy is light. And this guy is light and this guy is light where right here and this guy is just almost green really <laughs> rinse my brush dry my brush uh, this guy's almost greenish too is greenish. Not almost. He is. Uh, this guy right This guy right here is greenish. And greenish. Okay. Let's switch to a little more color. Maybe a little more color than that, huh? So 
So I'm going to come back with a little purple later. With the pigments I have, I cannot quite get that magenta at all. And that's okay. Hmm. But I can make a lotus out of other colors too. So we're going to use purple shadows instead of magenta shadows. For now, I'm just painting the lightest colors. I'll work a little bit on the background and then come back and. Um, Actually, I know what I want to do next. Probably be really good if I had a plan before I started. So before I do anything else, hmm. well, I'm going to put some shadows down in here. And I think maybe I'll just start over there with this shadow. And then there seems to be a shadow points down in here. And this shadow comes all the way down to the bottom. This is a color um, that I just started playing around with. Um, this is um, Indigo. So I'm putting a shadow in the in the lake here or pond I suppose maybe um, it's kind of interesting There we go, there's a shadow. You get a little shadow over here. And boy. I don't really see a shadow there, but I think I want one. So, painting things I don't actually see. Should be dry enough to come back with some yellow now. I'll put the center of the lotus in with yellow. And...
we need that lotus to dry some. While that's drying, I'm going to come back with, um, okay, just checking my camera to see how much time I have left on this video. A couple days ago I ran out of time. Too much goofing around. Well, I wish that was dry and it's not. Um, here, I don't need this anymore. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> let's just give it a spin, I guess, huh? And I think I'm going to just start right in here. Whoa! With a big drop that lands directly on the lotus flower itself by accident. Paint right over that shadow. I don't want that shadow to seem disconnected. Paint right over that shadow, but not over the Oh, but not over the lily pad itself. You see how I can tip that paper and let this paint kind of run. Take it, run it where I want it to go, where I need it to go. So I'm using gravity to help me. Move paint. Tip it this way. Sorry, you're going to have to look at it upside down while I run paint this direction. It's alright, I drew it sideways, so... Upside down, right side up, sideways, it's kind of all the same. Really just drawing and painting what I see the way I see it. Trying to keep a wet edge going here so that I don't get lap marks uh, in my paint. So I'm just keeping that that leading edge of what I'm painting nice and wet. And see if I can end with about as much paint as I need. Right over here where I started. And I see a couple problem areas here. One, I got too much paint right there. That didn't work. Brush is better than a piece of... There we go. Now, let's come back, paint some darks in on the uh, lotus petals. And then remind me at the end to... Um... Alright, so that I'm pretty good with, and that I'm pretty good with, and here... And here... And that too, maybe just a touch. Just 
just down at the bottom of this one. So I want to see what's on that one. I look over here. Need a little bit of yellowish green. Very light. On that one. On this one. This one. Oh good. Someone forgot to unplug the phone. We're going to listen to it ring until the, until the machine picks it up. Sorry about that. Okay, one last color. There we go, the machine got it. All that's left is to sign it. We'll call it um, Lotus Blossom, sign it. And date it 2020. And there we are. Uh, hope you had fun watching. I kind of had fun playing around with it. So until next time, bye bye.